Right, but uh, just keep it going. So this election is a choice between whether we will have four more years of total failure, because the, what's going on now, we are, we are a nation in decline. We're a failing nation. We're left at all over the world. No matter where you go, they laugh at us. They can't even believe what's happening. And I'll tell you what, she's worse than he is. And they do lie. I was just saying to Rick, you know, the lies. They, they say the exact, I'll have like 10 different things where I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this. Everybody knows it. The media knows it. They do nothing to change it. And then they come out with a commercial saying exactly the opposite. I mean, things like, uh, I'm in favor of, or let's say they even say it differently, I'm against fracking. That's the first time I've ever heard it. Trump is against fracking. They do things that is just, and she's against fracking, but now she says she's for it. So I've had Hillary, I've had uh, Sleepy Joe, I've had a lot of people that I've run against now. And, you know, on a, on a different scale, I, I work with uh, senators and trying to get them elected. We're doing very well, the Republicans. I think we could end up, we could end up, I don't want to use numbers, but we could end up uh, surprisingly good, right, Rick? It could be a number that people would be shocked at if you would have said it even two months ago. And I'm helping all of them, every one of them. And we had uh, some, some great results. We've had some results that are really surprising. But... Uh, this is the one, this, this woman is the worst, the lying. It's just unbelievable. Like the IVF, the fertilization, I came out totally in favor of it right from the beginning. She said, I'm against it. Carlos, she goes, he's totally against it. Uh, every single item that uh, having to do with energy, having to do with everything, and it just, and then she's got that, the worst governor in the country, probably the worst. I think she made a horrible mistake. We'll see what happens on November 5th, you know? Let's see what happens. But uh, there's something wrong with him, honestly. There's something wrong. And there's something wrong with her, too. She's slow, low IQ, something. I don't know what the hell it is, but they lie. I've never, we, we don't need another low IQ person. We had one for four years. We don't need another one. But. I mean, Crooked Hillary lied, but she didn't do it like this. I mean, she wouldn't take things that were so obvious and just say the opposite. They say the exact opposite. And as you know, uh, there are 15 different elements of policy that uh, she changed. She was in favor of uh, sex changes for prisoners at their will, paid for by the government. And now she says, no, I don't think that would be a good idea. She was uh, totally, I mean, when you talk about fracking, she had no fracking under, I mean, we have 25 commercials. We put, sometimes we put them on simultaneously. <laughs> She's just, and now all of a sudden, uh, I love fracking. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> Although today, though, it came out, they had a bad thing come out today. One of her people said she's against, essentially against fracking. And uh, it's very interesting when that came out. Uh, it was sort of a big story. One of her top people said that because that's where they are, Rick. That's where they are. They're against fracking. They're never going to. And they're against uh, anything having to do with what's under the ground. And that's what, you know, Germany just went through it. They almost destroyed themselves. They went into a, um, a situation where they were putting windmills all over the place and the wind wasn't blowing so much. And if they kept that process going, Germany would right now be bust. That's one, I guess, one of the primary reasons that Angola is not there anymore. They tried it. They had solar. They had solar fields that's so big. I mean, I saw a solar field come, and I'm, I'm in favor of solar, but it's not the same thing. It's got to fire up these massive plants. It's not going to, but I saw a solar field the other day that looked like it took up half the desert. I'd never saw anything like it. It's all steel and glass and wires, and it looks like hell. And you see rabbits, they get caught in it. And every, you know, for the environmentalists, it's just terrible. I like, you know, some applications where you have it on a roof or you have it on something. But, but I'm looking at solar fields that are like miles and miles of just, and what it does to your desert areas or the areas that you're putting, it's just crazy. We have stuff right under the ground. Mm -hmm. Natural gas, we have, we have things that, we had the cleanest air that we've ever had during my administration, and yet we also had more jobs, more productivity. We had the best numbers we've ever had. We had the lowest taxes we paid in our So 
So we're in a, a race, and, and we're really — we're in a race with some very sick people. They're liars. They just lie. They lie about everything. And uh, I was going to hit her really hard on the trail today, but now I don't have to because uh, she's off. She's off. No, I can't get over it. Who the hell takes off? You have 14 days left. And she'll take a couple of more days off, too. You know why? She's lazy as hell, and she's got that reputation. She's a radical left lunatic. She's further left than Bernie Sanders or, or Pocahontas. Now, Pocahontas, <laughs> because I think, is Pocahontas, Rick, is Pocahontas further left than uh, Bernie? Just about, right? It's close. It's close. <laughs> Who the hell cares, right? Rick says, eh, I don't know. But uh, they're out there. But she's, she's the furthest left. We can't have a person. She's a Marxist. Her father's a Marxist professor. By mm -hmm. the way, wow. the fake news, look at all of them. Where is the father we should interview? Because I'd find it interesting to see what he has to say. He's, uh, I don't know, I, they seem to have a problem, but it would be nice to interview the father. He's a Marxist professor. And I think that's okay, that's good, fine. But I think it's appropriate that the father be uh, interviewed by the fake news. They don't want to interview him, and I wonder why. Uh, if we had a real press in this country, this wouldn't even be a race. And I'm not sure it is a race anyway. Uh, they just came out with the, uh, the Atlanta Constitution, just came out with a poll that we're five up in Georgia. We're, we're up in, and, and let's see what happens, because it all doesn't matter, because, you know, bad things happen. So very, very bad things happened last time. And, uh, but this time we don't have COVID. And uh, it's going to be a lot harder for them to do bad things. So we're going to see. We have tremendous people. We have tremendous. We have a lot of lawyers working. We have lawyers working, numbers of lawyers that nobody's ever seen before. Because we're not going to play games. Because we're going to lose our country. Our country's failing. We don't know what we're doing. We're left at all over the world. President Xi thinks we're stupid. Putin thinks we're stupid. That would have never happened. Putin, if I were president, Putin would have never, ever gone into Ukraine. Now we have a, a number of dead people that's so much greater than what they say. They knocked down an apartment house that's two blocks long. They're big buildings in Ukraine, two blocks long and 20 stories high, and they say one person was slightly injured. No, many people were killed when they did that. And these, these towns and cities all over Ukraine are knocked down. Millions of people, I mean, when you look at the total uh, number of dead from that war, and it would have never happened, should have never happened, there was zero chance. His energy policy also helped it happen because he drove energy through the roof because he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. And if you look at now uh, Israel, October 7th, that would have never happened. But if Bibi Netanyahu followed uh, the plan of Biden, he didn't want him to do anything. and. A bad thing happened today, you probably heard. Now, the press isn't covering it very much, which is just incredible. Uh, possibly our Defense Department or somebody. Anyway, it was leaked, the entire military plan of Israel. The military plan. The plans they have at the highest level, it was leaked. Highly confidential information. It was leaked by our somebody, they have no idea who did it. Can you imagine you're, you're fighting a war and you have your Americans, uh, Carlos, can you imagine anything like that? Did you hear this? You know, they leaked all the information about the way that Israel's gonna fight and how they're gonna fight and where they're gonna go. And somebody, who did that? Can you imagine somebody doing that? That's, that's the enemy. I guess that maybe is the enemy from within, as I talk about. We have an enemy from within. They hate to talk about it. But could you imagine? Could you imagine? So we just can't stand for this incompetence anymore. We are an incompetently run country. We are led by a man that, first of all, look, I'm not a fan of his, but what they did to him was incredible. He had 14 million votes. He won the primary fair and square. He had 14 million votes, and they came to him. They said he had a bad debate. He didn't do well, and his numbers went down. But but I think he would do, probably in the end, he might do better than her because she's more incompetent than he is. I think she's grossly incompetent. And I don't want to be nice about it because we can't take a chance. Nobody knows who she is. You say Harris. 
Her name is Harris. Who the hell is Harris? <laughs> Nobody, even, even political people don't know. Rick Scott has no idea who the hell Harris is. <laughs> no, people don't know who Harris is. But, uh, but now they're finding out that she's a radical left lunatic, and we can't take a chance on losing this election. Because if we lose this election, we may not have a country anymore. We may not, we ne and I've heard this from a lot of very smart people that are very straight down the middle. They say, we may never have an election again in this country. This is where we're going. I used to say that if we don't do something, we all know what's happened with Venezuela. This was 20 years ago, one of the great countries of the world, and now it's, uh, Troubled, to put it mildly, and I said it would be Venezuela on steroids, being a, meaning a bigger version. That can happen. Who would think it can happen? But I see it because I see the people that we deal with. And these people are, they don't love our country. They don't love our country. And we're going to do something about it, but we have to win the election. So, you know, when they get up and they lie about every single thing, they tell you, they know your position. And in my case, it's been my position for many years. One of the people said uh, the other night on television, he's a great guy, Jesse, Jesse Waters. He said, whether you like Trump or not, his position has been the same for 30 years. I mean, it's been the same. I want strong borders. I don't want foreign countries to rip us off, Max. We're being ripped off by everybody, and our friends do it worse than our enemies. It's incredible. We we had that very well going, and uh, we did a good job on that. But we're going to do the ultimate job. We're going to bring a lot of those jobs back. We're going to bring, I think we're going to bring more than we lost back. And it's going to happen very fast through intelligent taxation, tariffs, and incentives. And you're going to have companies pouring into our country, and they're going to be very happy. I think that's why I'm doing so well in Michigan. That's why the auto workers like Trump so much. You know, their union head is a stiff. He's a total stiff. He has no clue. He has no clue. He wants to go all electric. And uh, all electric cars, you know, they want to have all electric cars. Uh, and they're wonderful. You know, I think they're great. They have an application, but we want gasoline-propelled cars. We want hybrids. We don't want hydrogen, Max, because they blow up and you are no longer recognizable, Max. He, this guy owns more gas stations than any guy. He owns so many gas stations, he doesn't know what to do with them, right? But we're, and he's a great, he's a great American, too, by the way. He's uh, started with nothing, and he's a very successful man. He's a great man. So I just want to thank you. So I just want to thank you all. We can't play games with these people. These are people that are dangerous people. And again, you know, uh, Hillary and Biden. Now, Biden didn't tell the truth very much, but he was much better than this one. This one is just an outright, I've never seen anything like it, point after point after point. And then they do ads, and they just say this stuff. And I just wonder, I hope the public is, is understanding it. I hope, because I found the public to be amazingly smart. They get it. I really, I found it to be amazing that they get it, but the level of lying is just incredible. I, I mean, to a point where I can't even imagine it's legal. I was asking some of these lawyers, some of the top guys, I said, can, can they absolutely, you know, two weeks before an election, go out and do an ad where every one of your policies are the exact opposite? Isn't that election interference and isn't that fraud? And isn't there a court that can do something about that? But the end result is, you know, we can talk about it here, and people can listen, and they understand it. I think they understand it. So maybe what we'll do is we'll go around, take a couple of questions, yes. and uh, have a little fun, okay? It's an honor to be with everybody, and especially this great Hispanic community. Okay? Thank you very much.